everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kate Merrill with this WBZ News Update. Our top stories today. The death of a scuba diver at Nantasket Beach and Hull is under investigation. 67-year-old Nancy Siegel was pulled from the ocean yesterday. Lifeguards and state police gave her CPR. She was pronounced dead at the hospital. Divers are looking for her equipment, which will be examined as part of the investigation. Siegel is a certified scuba diver. The medical examiner will determine her exact cause of death. Simmons College in Boston is becoming a university. The Women's College in the Fenway says it will introduce a new academic structure and four new colleges this fall. Simmons University will continue to offer undergrad programs for women and graduate programs open to everyone. A Lemonster World War II veteran now has his diploma decades after leaving high school. 94-year-old Roland Martineau walked across the stage at graduation Saturday. He was supposed to graduate in 1942, but enlisted in the Navy as a high school sophomore. The great-great-grandfather says he hopes all get graduates this year realize how lucky they are to finish high school. Yeah, Bray Burbank is here with a look of your Monday forecast. Not looking too good, Bear. Not looking very good, but we can stand to have a little bit of rain, and as long as it happens uh, during the week and not necessarily on the weekend, Kate will be in pretty good shape. And I think we'll have that rain today. But the, the rain is falling in very chilly air, so it's not going to really warm up that much. But the rain is going to come to an end this afternoon as it tapers off from west to east. And it'll be right, the back edge will be right along the coastal plain around 2 o'clock this afternoon. And not much rain will fall after that. Maybe a a little sprinkle or a little touch of mist in spots, and that is just about it. We're probably going to have about a half inch of rain and maybe a little bit more than an inch over southeastern Massachusetts. Uh, some places in the Cape could get a bit more than that. So that's beneficial. But look at the highs today, only around 54, 55 degrees. That's not too far from the lowest high temperature for this date. Set way back in 1891, but not quite making it. Tomorrow will be warming up as we had a few breaks of sun in the morning, but some more showers coming through in the afternoon scattered around. A little bit of light rain is possible early Wednesday, then a little bit better later in the day. And the second half of the week looking pretty good to me right now, especially Friday. Be the pick day around 81. That's your forecast, Kate. All right, Barry, thank you. I'm Kate Merrill. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day.